This is called a steel. As a sharp edge begins to dull, it creates a burr on the tip, and the steel is used to remove that burr. I run the knife along the steel at a 15 degree angle in both directions several times to clean up the edge. This does not sharpen the blade, but it helps to maintain the edge until I have the time to sharpen the blades using whetstones. Sharpening tools are a worthwhile investment. This is a 1000 grit and 4000 grit whetstone set that I use. Whetstones need to soak in water for half an hour before use. I use a whetstone stand with a rubber bottom to help stick to the bench and hold the stone in place as I use it. I am using the 1000 grit side first. The higher the grit number, the smoother the stone is. The edge on my paring knife is blunted. It will take several minutes to sharpen and polish the edge. Whetstones need to have a little water on their surface to help the metal travel across it, so I splash a little water on the stone as needed. I am running the metal blade's edge along the stone at a very precise 15 degree angle repeatedly to create a polished flat edge. Then I turn the blade over to create a polished flat edge on the other side. I use both hands to sharpen the edge. I am right handed so I use my right hand to fix the angle and I use the fingers on my left hand to apply slight pressure to the edge of the knife against the stone. The slight pressure is needed or the metal will not rub against the stone and have a sharp edge. I apply equal pressure, careful not to lift up and round the edge counterproductively. The blade never comes off of the stone, but rather floats back into position to be rubbed against the stone again at the very precise angle. It takes about 20 strokes back and forth for about 3 minutes to put an edge on a small little paring knife like this. Then I go on to the 4000 grit stone to polish the edge to a mirror finish. This finer grit stone will remove all the scratches left by the 1000 grit stone within a few minutes of polishing. The stones have to be flat with no bumps or ridges to catch on the blade. To flatten a stone, I rub the stone on wet dry sandpaper on top of a perfectly flat surface like heavy glass. A sharp paring knife makes everything easier and a little safer.